Hi guys, Morphin Reviewer 97 here and I'm back with another review. This time I'm going to be doing a review on the Cell Shift Morpher from Power Rangers RPM. Now sadly I don't have the box for this morpher because I got this morpher off eBay used, so I got it for pretty cheap. But if you want to know what the box looked like, here's some pictures of what it would have looked like if I had the box. Okay, so back on with the review. So as you can see, the morpher is really nicely detailed. Side of the morpher, top of the morpher, have side and back. Front of the morpher, you've got like the RPM symbol there. And this nice design of like tire track marks, which is like sculpted in, so it has some texture to it. Side of the morpher, simply plain black with this red sculpted in part here, it doesn't move or do anything, it's just there. Other side, same on the other side. Bottom of the morpher, just plain black. With some nice sculpted design. Guess that's meant to represent the camera there. So, pretty cool. So that's really the morpher. And with the morpher, we obviously get these engine cells. As they were called in the show. So... This is what they look like. This one's blue for this morpher. Because this morpher belongs to the blue, red and yellow RPM rangers. So, these are the engine cells. Pretty thin. Just plain black on the back. But they've got really nice like sculpted design into them. Which is pretty cool. So, nothing much to them. But still super cool to have them. We open up the morpher now. As you can see, really nice designed. Um, looks show accurate. Got all the buttons down here, but these aren't actually buttons. They're just sculpted in, so you can't press any of them. But they've got a nice design on them. This T button here is the only button that you can press. It's got like the RPM symbol inside it as well says there, G50NPES system. I don't know what that means, but obviously it was on the show, so they decided to put it on there. There's no screen here. It's just plain see-through, so there's no screen. Decent size. Quite nice size. And how you activate the sounds on this morpher is you simply open the top of the morpher like this. So the top of the morpher opens. Put in your engine cell. Close it. And you get this nice revving up sound. So then press the button. And it says Power Ranger powering up, which I think is really cool. Um, it would have been awesome if they put RPM getting gear in there, but I think Power Ranger powering up sounds cool. If you press the button again, you get different honking sounds, which I believe the three Rangers Zords making that sound, the red, blue and yellow. So, pretty cool. Looks show accurate design-wise. Open this up, take out the engine cell, simply just take it out. Now I do have another engine cell here. I've got this engine cell, this one's from the Rev Morpher. Belong to the Green Ranger. And to activate more sounds in this morpher you do need more engine cells to activate the sound. So I've got another sound with this, so let's put this in. Close it. And we get that like car engine starting up sound. Press the button. Doesn't really do anything. You have to hold down the button to get the full sound. And it's like a car braking, so pretty cool. And to start up again, you simply just press the button again. So. 
Awesome. So once again, here's the Morpher. Pretty nicely detailed, quite show accurate. Um, if you're a collector like me, or you like the RPM series, um, I would advise you to get this Morpher. It's super cool. Um, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like. This is Morphin Reviewer 97, signing out.